A massive underwater volcano in Tonga triggered tsunami waves across the world. The volcano caused significant damage in the Pacific country, so much so that the waves rocked boats and vessels as far as New Zealand and California. Welcome to Beyond's Climate Tracker. My name is Priyanka Sharma. Let's begin now by telling you about the Tonga volcano. The nation of Tonga was virtually cut off from the rest of the world after a massive volcanic blast crippled communication lines in the Pacific Island. The explosion has also stalled all emergency relief efforts as of now. It has been two days since the Tonga volcano exploded. The eruption cloaked Tonga in a film of ash. It triggered a Pacific-wide tsunami and released shockwaves that wrapped around the entire planet. But with phone lines still down and an undersea internet cable cut, the true toll of the dual eruption tsunami disaster is not yet known. The eruption was so powerful that it was recorded around the world and heard as far away as Alaska. It triggered giant waves along the Pacific coastlines from Japan to the United States. And since then, only fragments of information has filtered through. And that too via a handful of satellite phones. The islands are home to just over 100,000 people. Tonga's concerned neighbours are now still scrambling to grasp the scale of the damage. New, Ze New Zealand's uh, leader for one, Jacinda Ardern, has said that the damage could be quite significant. Both Wellington and Canberra scrambled their reconnaissance planes in an attempt to get a sense of the damage from air. Both have put C-130 military transport aircraft on standby to drop emergency supplies or to land if runways are deemed operational. And of course, uh, what uh, the Orion is doing is, is a reconnaissance. Uh, it is, as are the Australians, uh, looking to undertake an assessment uh, from the air uh, of the outer islands in particular, uh, and then, of course, provide that information uh, to the people of Tonga and Tongan authorities. Uh, for the C-130, we're, of course, undertaking planning to enable drops to be undertaken regardless of the status of the airport. Tonga's deputy head of mission in Australia asked for patience. As Tonga's government decides its priorities for aid, Tonga is concerned about the risk of aid delivery, spreading COVID-19 to the island, which is COVID-free. Telephone lines in Tonga have been restored for now. The ash was posing a major health concern, contaminating the drinking water. Humanitarian aid agencies are now mobilizing their networks to respond to the same, to what it calls the worst volcanic eruption that the Pacific has experienced in decades. The northeastern prefecture of Iwate in Japan saw waves as high as two meters. Major traffic jams blocked the roads of southern Japan on Sunday after authorities imposed a tsunami advisory. Hundreds of Japanese citizens were advised to evacuate as waves of more than a meter slammed the coastal areas. Staying with the story, Tonga's former chief geologist has now described the eruption of an undersea volcano near the Pacific Island as absolutely unique. Speaking from Nottingham, Professor David Tappan explained that the region had not seen such an explosive eruption previously. Listen in. Yes, this is uh, absolutely unique in my experience. As you said, I mean, I've, I've, I've lived in Tonga for five years, worked in the Pacific and on tsunamis for 40 years. And uh, whereas Tonga and that area of the Pacific, uh, we know there are tsunamis, uh, there hasn't been uh, an event from a, uh, a volcanic eruption and such an explosive er eruption previously. So this is, this is a big surprise. Uh, from what I can see, there were warnings given. Uh, the main island called Tonga Tapu, uh, there's the capital Nukalofa, and some of you will have read that's where the king lives, and his palace is right on the coastline. And looking at this image here, you can see that it's low lying. The wave is coming in. It's 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 pretty impetuous. Uh, there's no warning, but it's quite low. But uh, the authorities active acted immediately, and they've been warning people on the coast to evacuate. So there was a big surprise, but a really impressive response and evacuation of people who are living on the coastline. The Tonga volcano, which has erupted several times in recent years, is part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. This Ring of Fire is home to some of the world's most active volcanoes. The current events in Tonga may just have been a warm-up for the region. 
Specialists and experts now say that there could be further activity to come with several weeks or even years of major volcanic unrest. Take a look at this next detailed report. Most of the world's volcanoes are found around the Pacific Ocean's Ring of Fire, a meeting point of tectonic plates and an area of intense seismic activity. Tectonic plates are massive slabs of rock making up the Earth's surface. Constantly moving on a hotbed of magma, volcanoes form in two ways at their boundaries. Plates sometimes collide, causing one to slide beneath the other. This is called a destructive boundary. Pressure and heat created by this movement force magma up into the cracks in the rocks until it explodes to the surface as lava, causing a volcanic eruption. Molten rock, debris and gases from the Earth's interior are also emitted, either from the main crater or from secondary vents. Plates can also move away from each other at so-called constructive boundaries. In this case, magma rises to fill the gap, creating a new crust. When this happens under the sea, volcanic islands are eventually formed. Volcanic activity can also occur underneath tectonic plates in areas known as hotspots, when magma escapes through localized melted molten rock. In terms of activity, volcanoes are extinct when they haven't erupted for tens of thousands of years, dormant when they're temporarily inert, and active when they regularly churn out gas or lava. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.